Oh my god, you gotta you gotta see this. Look, look at this. Okay. I love it. I love it. So everyone, I'm actually working on the S2000 right now. This literally, I've just filmed three videos all in one go. They're all gonna be on the channel at some point. What I'm doing to the S2000 right now is actually just kind of working on the roof. It's been parked outside and the weather has been absolutely horrible in the UK. So the roof got really, really wet. So wet that it was actually soaked on the inside and it was dripping water in. So when I actually got into the car to move it, it just soaked me completely as I shut the door. Just on, I was like, whoa, what just happened here? And um, my brother did the same earlier on today and he was just like, you need to get this car into the garage and we just sort something out. So currently what I'm doing right now is just drying up the roof. You can see just how soaked up this has gotten. It's not good. Did the other side, so look how matte that looks compared to this side. Which has a huge sheen on it. On the inside as well, there's loads of water just dripping down through the roof. So it definitely needs some form of protection. So I'm going to be looking at treating the roof. Also going to try and get rid of some of the mould that's on the roof as well. And get the car nicely cleaned up. It's just, yeah. So I've got the heater here. Just going to let it blow in some nice warm air into the car. Let everything dry up. That should make be working on the car a little bit easier because then it means I'm working on a blank canvas and not having to work with some bits that are wet, some bits that aren't. I get to choose if anything's gonna get soaked up to actually get cleaned up. You can you can see just how much condensation has actually got into the car. That is really, really bad. Watermarks. But yeah, it's not gonna be right now when I'm gonna work on the car, but it is gonna be soon, so Let's fast forward to there. So what I am going to be looking at doing is a couple of things that I've seen online. Um, one, going to be looking at vacuuming it up and giving it a first little quick clean. And then from there, trying to get rid of some of the mold. And then following on from that, I'm going to look at sealing it up so then it becomes weatherproof. So if that sounds good. Please stick around. If you do find this video entertaining, give it a like and also Please subscribe to see more from me. But let's carry on with the actual project for today. So, so to start off, we'll actually look at the condition. As you can see, it's not exactly a nice jet black anymore. It is quite dirty. You can see some of the dirt is actually starting to embed itself into the actual fabric top. Um, there's little bits and pieces of dirt over here that it's got to take out. And the other side is basically the worst. You can see the moulding starting to start over here and just down here as well. It's, it's not exactly great. I have tried doing some work to it in the past. The first stage I can do indoors. The second stage where I'm actually going to be giving it a clean would be best to do outdoors. But it's so wet right now and it's actually pitch black. Um, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to look at doing some of that inside the garage. i to be extra careful. But fingers crossed it goes well. So I think we'll start off by giving it a quick vacuum. I don't have all the attachments and stuff, but I'm just going to try and get rid of as much dirt as I can. And um, yeah, I'm going to stick you all on hyperlapse and you can enjoy what I'm up to. So with the car all vacuumed up, with the roof done, now I'm going to be looking at getting it ready with some water some spray, probably a bucket. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it just yet, but just try and wet it down. And I'm gonna actually be using some diluted all-purpose cleaner to get rid of the mold. I've tried other things in the past and nothing's worked for me just yet. So I thought I'd bring out the big guns and bring out something that's a bit more powerful just to kind of see if I can get rid of the mold. Here is the selection of bits and pieces that I've got at the moment. Just random bits that I've found. Just thought I'd give them all a try. So some fabric cleaner, um, hood protector, not going to use that just yet, but the cleaner, this is just a bottle of water and these are kind of just extra stuff that I'm going to try using. Realize I don't have the normal all purpose cleaner in the house at the moment, so not going to try that. The car is not exactly the best of condition cars. You do want to try it and take as good care as you can with all your cars and for me the roof as well on this is really good condition. So I want to try and do the best that I can for the roof. Paintwork is another story, but the roof is something that I can work on. So yeah, I'm gonna try getting on with that now. 
Wish me luck. On this pass it looks to have done a good job but I'm still noticing some spots here and there so I'm just going to go over it again. This time I'm actually going to leave it to soak for about 10 minutes or so and then I'm going to try rinsing it all off. It's a bit of a ghetto way of doing it at the moment with just this bucket and sponge but it's the best way to do it. I don't want to get the whole garage soaked up, I just want to leave it in this area ideally and with the sprayer right now it was just going all over the place trying to get the last few bits and pieces so this is the safest bet right setting you guys back up now Whoop. So everyone, I don't think I've done the best job of uh, tidying that up and cleaning off all the mold. It looks to be done at the moment, but I can't confirm it because I need to dry it all off. So yeah, I need to then dry it all off, check everything over, but I'm pretty sure it's been good. But it's not going to be the last ever time I'm going to be able to clean this roof. I am going to do it again in the future. So now I'm going to apply, which is this one, included UV protection. So I'm going to apply that on. Um, give that all night to kind of dry over and everything and then being able to um, clean the roof I'll test it out see how it goes so far the best result I've had in terms of cleaning was actually with the all-purpose cleaner um, that well I think it's all-purpose clean well the um, the multi multi-service cleaner that kind of gave the best results so far including with the brushes you do need stiff bristle brushes for doing this it makes life a lot easier and yeah, I would highly recommend that. It definitely is the one to get rid of everything. I'm gonna dry this up now with a cloth, leave it for a little while, and then come back out and apply the sealant on. So let's go back into hyperlapse. So that's how it's come out looking so far. I noticed at some points that this area still had a little bit of mold. So I went back on attack mode on that. It looks to be okay so far. Once it's fully dried, I'll be able to tell then. I've gone over it with the microfiber cloth, which I got the trick from Ammo NYC um, about using a microfiber cloth as one of the best ways of actually getting rid of, getting rid of moisture. So yeah, just gonna let this dry now. I've got the heater, I'm gonna put the heater up to the inside of the actual car and then just kind of let that circulate heat inside the car and obviously heat goes upwards. So I'll come back later on, maybe in a couple of hours or so and just check on the car and see if it's ready for me to apply the sealant. So I'm gonna use the, uh, I'm gonna use the fab seal on this. So I think that's gonna give pretty good results. So um, yeah, well, let's go. So everything's basically dry right now. There are a couple of stains here and there, but 
I'm not going to worry too much about it right now because I've got just too much to do right now. I've got to get the, the roof weatherproof so I can get the car out of the garage. So I've got a brush. I'm just going to literally apply on the, the sealer and fingers crossed it comes out good. I might do a couple more coats than just one. Um, it's over there. you got to literally apply it on with a brush and then with a dry cloth, take it off. So I might just try it with tissue at first. I don't want to keep wasting uh, microfiber cloths, you know. Try it with tissue. So everyone, that took a lot longer than I expected it to, honestly. Um, I'm not gonna lie, my back hurts a little bit. But I think that's because it's really cold outside as well. At the moment, so right now, I've got to let it cure for about six hours or so. I know I said earlier you're supposed to wipe it down with a cloth as you're going past it all. But I just thought, you know what? I don't know what I'm next gonna do this. I'm just gonna apply a really thick coat of everything. Um, it's actually quite hard to apply. You literally do have to apply it quite thick. Otherwise, it doesn't actually soak in. As soon as you spread the brush in one place it kind of soaks everything in and then you have nothing to spread for the next bit so you're constantly dipping in and out of whatever it is um i quickly found that little metal thing to pour some in it just saved me a lot of time i don't know how i would have done it otherwise but yeah it looks it looks quite good it's actually brought out a really nice dark rich tone to the actual roof so fingers crossed it stays like that once it's all fully dried and cured up see i'm gonna leave it overnight and then take the car out I'm gonna do a quick little test with the waterproofing just to see how it actually come out. So looking at the roof right now, it looks really good. This is the day after. And um, I feel like one, cleaning it has helped, but the actual coating has added some nice depth to everything. What I'm gonna do now is a quick little water test. So where is my little water? So it is. Let's see what it's like if I spray it on. Ooh, that looks good. Let me um, let me change the view so we can see it there. Now let's try actual proper beading. Ooh, oh yes, that's what we like to see. That's really nice. Look at that. Perfect. Right, the results from that came out perfect, exactly what I was hoping to get from the car. So I hope you did find this video entertaining and helpful. If you did, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. But also consider subscribing to see more of this car's build and all the other projects that I've got going on at the moment. But I hope you all did enjoy this. So for now, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, catch you later. Oh my God, you gotta, you gotta see this. Look, look at this, okay. I'm gonna pour the entire bottle. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? That's so crazy. I love it. I love it.